Well, welcome everybody. This is the Fab Flip Lady channel, and I am Cece, and I'm excited to be with you this evening. Uh, I'm going to focus this video on talking about auctions. I went to an auction this weekend and came back with about, mm, I would say, 150 items. And <clears throat> some of them were really small items, and some of them were a little bit more expensive. But when everything averaged out, I think I came up with about $2.50 per item is what everything cost. And if you think about the fact that I did get a, a beautiful full length mink coat in there and some other nice pieces of jewelry, it turned out to be a really great auction and I'm excited to share it with you today. So let's get right to it and I'm going to show you a little bit about how I decided to pick what I picked. I think one of the one of the best things about auctions is that you have a chance to really comp the items that you're looking at and deciding if you want to buy them and if, if you're buying them for the right price. Um, if it's not a live auction, that is. And this was not a live auction. This was an online auction. So I was able to do a lot of research when I was bidding on items and know that I was bidding on the right ones. The other, I think the other interesting thing to note is that online auctions aren't a perfect medium either because sometimes the way the auctioneer takes the photos and presents the item makes it look entirely different than it really is. And in the case of some pillows that I bought, I thought they were much smaller than they were. And, uh, you know, sometimes these auctioneers will provide the the measurements and other times they don't so sometimes you get really fun surprises when things are even a little bit bigger than what you thought they were because then they're probably worth a little bit more and vice versa you can also be surprised and find out that something was actually a lot tinier than it was so you can ask questions as well if you've got a good auctioneer and he will ask you know answer your questions you can you can ask questions about the item this was the estate of an elderly woman whom I believe was moving into an assisted care facility. And she lived in a very wealthy area of Michigan. And I do like to focus on certain areas when I'm doing my online auctions because I find that I get a better scale of items. And so I try to focus on zip codes that have a little bit more of the upscale um, homes and things like that. So that's exactly what I did with this one. And what I really like about the older, the older people's auctions is my favorite thing, which is vintage. And I love to find the vintage items. And I think now more than anything, we're finding that people really love vintage items. They're realizing how well they are made and how long they last. And depending upon what the item is, that sometimes they can increase much, much, much more in value than definitely the things of today because we just aren't getting the quality of items that we used to get. And what's really fun too is that you'll find that so many of the things that you buy are from, you know, made from the, made in the USA. And that's, that's a lot of fun because we don't see that very much anymore either. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and, and look at what, what exactly I got. And I'm going to share a little bit with you of the the research that I did and what I think some things will be able to sell for based on, on comps that I looked up. So without without waiting any longer, let's do that. All right, well, first I'm gonna talk a little bit about the jewelry that I got. I got about 20 pieces or so of jewelry and some of it was actually brand new. There were a few Joan Rivers pieces that were brand new. This set in particular was $6.00. And I looked it up and some of them have sold for as much as 90. Um, I think that Joan Rivers items are getting a little bit more popular because she has passed away. And in my opinion, Joan Rivers really did a great job of designing some of her pieces. She had great taste and it showed in the items that she actually designed and, <clears throat> and sold on QVC most of the time. This was a little Bonetti watch, and it's a cuff watch, and oh, I just think it's adorable with, with the little stars, and um, my husband has already put a battery in it, so we know it works, 
So that'll be a lot of fun. And I think I can do about 30 on that. And I paid about $2. Then we have this sweet little, I think it is a, let's see if we can get it to focus. Mm, there it is. Hold on, I'm so sorry. Let's see. Aha. Clesio walk. Ecclesio little clock. It's like a little desk clock. And this one also does work. This is a little pill case. Um, this was a watch brand I had never heard of before. Um, something like Mark, Martin, Martin Topaz. I'm not really familiar with that one. But there were a couple of really fun surprises in this grouping. This being one of them. These are Weiss rhinestone earrings. And they go for upwards of $100. One of the things I learned when I started doing thrifting is when you're looking at costume jewelry, always look at the back to see if it has a marking, a label, a brand, because typically when it is a vintage item and it has a brand name like this one does right here, it says Weiss, if you can see that, then you can look it up and most of the time they're worth more than those items that are not marked. Um, another sweet little set I thought was this one because it has, it's silver, but it has, it actually looks more gold, but it is silver and it has Aurora Borealis little crystals in it. And I think it's, they're darling little flowers. They are not marked. And actually the only other piece of earrings in here that were marked are, wait, I think it was these that were marked actually. No. Oh, I think it's these. Yes, yes, okay. These do have a marking. These are Lindor, but unfortunately there's a couple of crystals missing in this one, and so I'll have to I'll have to see if I've got some the right size. Also a beautiful crystal rhinestone brooch that is definitely vintage and so I'll be looking at that to see what I can do with that. This was a really fun surprise. This is actually a Millefiori um, blown glass necklace and it is actually from Italy and what was what was really fun about it besides the Millefiori which is very popular is the fact that it's also marked 925 in Italy on the back. So that's gonna be a fun piece. I don't think that this was ever worn. I think that they brought it back on a trip and it's called Bella Luna. It came from Venice, Italy. Um, just a couple of little pieces of costume jewelry in here. This one is probably the other noteworthy one that I thought was, was really nice because these do have a really beautiful shimmer and sheen to them, kind of like a moonstone would have. Again, they're not marked, but they are really pretty earrings and I definitely think that I can I can sell them and do really well with those. The other piece that was really nice is this is a Joan Rivers watch and again never has been worn was still in the box still had the wrapping paper on it it does work so that makes it fun and so really when I figured out all of my jewelry purchases what I found was that I spent about $50 on the jewelry and so they ended up being about $2.50 each and um, I know that I will do far better than $50 by the time I am done selling these items so that was pretty exciting I know that I did okay on that and that's really the bottom line when we're when we're going to an auction isn't it uh, I bought this as a lot and it came with this darling little vintage coin purse, which is very sweet. It's in great condition. I don't see any beads missing. And I'm, I don't know the decade, but I'm thinking maybe 30s, 40s, okay? And then this is something that I learned from the Nurse Flipper. She is one of my very favorite YouTube channels to watch when it comes to, you know, learning about reselling and thrifting. And she's somebody that I've, I've really only gotten to know recently but I have actually been mentored by her and learned just so much in a short period of time. But one of the things that 
I think she's great about are her linens. She loves linens. And I learned from her that these little handkerchiefs that are embroidered so beautifully like this by hand really have a value. Most people looking at these at a sale would pass them by thinking they're, you know, they're marked 50 cents, they're marked, you know, a dollar, that they're not worth anything. But actually, if you go online and you look at what the nurse flipper is selling hers for, she can sell hers for one piece for upwards of $20, $20-$28. Something like this one is it's embroidered but it's not quite as valuable because it's all one color. But if you find the ones that have the color and they're definitely hand embroidered, those will go for more money. These will still sell and something like this with the lace, this is great for a wedding. You can use the keyword wedding handkerchief and, and sell it that way. Um, also, this one is really nice because it has the letter R and it has a lot of embroidery and also has some appliques. As you can see, the appliques are, are absolutely lovely. So this has an R and I will iron these before I list them. Some very cute little daisies. And here's another R. It's backwards right now, but it is an R. And again, some kind of nondescript white ones, but there are a few really beautiful. This one I think is just sweet as can be. And I, I only saw maybe one or two spots on all of these. So these will do really, really well. And I only spent $3 on this entire batch of of um, handkerchiefs. Then we get to the linens and the linens are really special because they are, one is actually a round tablecloth and it has a lot of um, embroidery and lace and cutouts and this is a round one and then I think it's like 35 inches and then there's this which is a table runner has crocheting to it so that also makes it valuable so I, I did some looking around and I honestly think that I would be able to do about 40 for the the two linen items and not going to be hard to sell them for $40 at all so that was fun then we come to a few, few kind of interesting odds and ends this came in in a, a grouping basically of these plates and this candle and this little bear and this little key ring and that little vase. And all of those together were $3, okay? Now, these I'm probably going to keep. These are more modern, but I actually, at my lake home, I decorate outside quite a bit. So I have a tree that I like to hang things like this from. So I'll be using that for that and, and this as well. This is actually an amulet from the Peru World's Fair. I did not have any time to see if this had any value, but it's from the Peru, Peru World's Fair in 1982, I believe. I think it's 1982, but we'll look that up and see if that has any value. I know some of the Princess Diana um, Tybee Bears do have some value, but this one does not have the original tags. And so I'll probably use this for Halloween at my house. What I tend to do is because when I'm out and about, I find so many Beanie Babies. I collect them and then I collect them all year. And then on, at Halloween time, I give them out to the kids. I let them pick out which Beanie Baby they want and they love it. They come back every year hoping I'm still doing the Beanie Babies, and I am. Um, these, these pretty plates, remember this whole grouping was $3. This is an Andrea by Sadek made in Japan. Gorgeous, gorgeous plate. I believe I can do 20 to 30 on that. And, and this one as well is also Japan, 20 to 30. It does have a marking of a T, and I have not had a chance to look up the T to find out what that is, but going to be listed in the next couple of days and so we'll be able to see that. This plate I absolutely loved because I love the little butterflies on it. Um, all three of them are just are lovely. 
with, with the gold edging. And most importantly, they have no chips and they are definitely something that's probably been put away for a long time and never used. So that, that really makes them easy to sell because you don't have to talk about any defects. Here's another brand. I'm familiar with this brand. I actually have a little bunny rabbit cotton dispenser made by Toyo of Japan. And this is a pretty little vase. And so I will, I'll definitely put that on. I'm hoping for 15 to 20. And this is really interesting. It's called Crowning Touch Collectors. It's a paperweight, I believe. It does have one little flat spot. So I, I'm pretty sure that that's just that's just what it is. It's a paperweight, okay? And believe it or not, this is something um, to pay attention to as well. These are vintage stockings and they are from Saks Fifth Avenue. They've never been worn. They're in the original box. There are five pair of them. And in looking up the comps on those, I saw that they sell for upwards of 40 to $50 for a set like this if you sell them as a set. However, I did find a few pair that went for that much just for one pair. So I don't really know what is the reason that some of them go for bigger prices than others, but these are actually just beautiful. They've got quite a bit of pretty detailing to them and they're so they're so sheer and beautiful that you just can't find these anymore not worn. So that's going to be a fun thing to list. Then all of these candles and this box right here all came together in a set for $9. So four candles and this for $9. Now, I believe this is probably a sterling silver plated jewelry box. I don't find any marking of 925 on it. I do believe it's made in China. Yep made in China. So it's heavy and it's a very nice piece and it can be polished, but I don't think it's it's pure silver, but I think it's still something that could go for 30 to $40. And then each of these candles, I don't know if you could, can really see, but they all have been carved and they have different colors underneath and they have a Oh, this one has a sea, you know, a, a water, a water theme from the sea. Here's another fish one. And these were, these were fun because when I looked at them in the picture, I thought they were really small candles. And so when I got them, I was totally pleased because these will sell for 15 each. And this one is already listed for 15. This one is a beautiful candle when it's lit. I have actually seen these before. I'm pretty sure she got this on QVC. I don't know about these, but uh, they do really, really well because people love these decorative candles like this. This was something that I don't, to be honest with you, I don't believe I bid on this, but it ended up in my grouping. So this looks to me like somebody was just trying to start painting. And so <laughs> this is a piece made by Diane and butterflies and flowers. And so not really sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. And then here we have a sweet little vase set. There's a set of four really beautiful glass vases. All right, this one stumped me a little bit because I did not see that it was as big as it is. And it is a very beautiful, I believe it's either oil or acrylic painting on canvas. And the sad thing about it is that they folded it. And so it does have some cracking where it has, it's been folded. I don't, I'm, I'm quite certain that will affect its value. But I still also believe that if it were flattened out, and framed, it would still be a, a, an absolutely gorgeous piece. I think the colors of the blue are incredible, and I only paid $2 for this piece, so I'm excited to see what I can do with that. Okay, here is an example of something that I did not realize was as big as they are. These four pillows are very 
big pillows. They're probably 16 by 16. And I looked them up and they sell, these are raw silk and they sell for $48 each online. And I paid $9 for the entire set, including this one that's quilted. Okay, so this one is not as impressive as the four silk ones, but it's still pretty cute. And that brings us over to the clothing. So the first thing I want to talk about is this absolutely gorgeous Crystal Fox fur collar wool coat. The brand of this coat is Madeline, and I did the comps on this. It sells for about $125 to $175. This one is impeccable. It doesn't have any moth damage, and it will go right into my cedar chest after I'm done listing it. But the collar is just so sumptuous, and I, you know, for the anti-fur people out there, I apologize. I, I do come across for items every once in a while that are vintage and I will purchase vintage fur items because I believe that since the animal has already been made into a fur collar, I just feel like it is disrespectful to throw it away and, and not get use out of it. So I do like to pass those on to people that do enjoy wearing those. Um, then we also have the clothing items and this was a lot of fun. I did some kind of calculations on my clothes, and what I figured out in this auction is that the clothing came to a total of $218. There were 37 total pieces of clothing, and that is not including the, 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 um, the individual handkerchiefs, but uh, not a lot of like really expensive brand names other than the Madeline. Um, but there were, there's enough here that there's definitely some profit. This, these are Berkey's slides. They have never been used and they can go to, for 40 to 50. Okay. We've got some beautifully pearled vintage white gloves and I have bought and sold white gloves over and over and over again. People like to purchase them for plays and movies and sometimes brides like to wear them in the winter. So they are something that still goes. This was another surprise. I'm gonna to try to, to show this to you because it's so beautiful. This is a fringed shawl. It's called Must Haves by Doris Pooser. And it's gorgeous. What a great thing for a bride to wear if she's wearing ivory. And that's probably one of the keywords that I'm going to use for that. Um, these are a couple of visors. I don't think there's a lot of value here, but some people still like them. And this one is Las Vegas, so that makes it kind of fun. And then the t-shirts. Now the t-shirts, you might say, why did you bid on these? Cece, what is the big deal? But they are really interesting. I liked so many of them that I just decided to go for it because we've got Barbados. These, these are places that she obviously traveled and she brought a t-shirt home and with the exception of one or two all of them are brand new and some of them still have the tags like this one has a tag for $18.95 um, this one the secret of my success is that I keep the score that's a golf shirt this one is Carmel by the sea then we have this beautiful Puerto Rico fish t-shirt which was so pretty and I lived in Puerto Rico for a while so that kind of had some meaning for me here is one from Toronto, Canada, and it's also brand new. This is a, a one from Universal Studios. She got this quite some time ago, I'm pretty sure. She paid a whopping $10.50 for it. And this was made in the USA, so you know it's, it's relatively old, okay? Same here, Daytona Beach, made in the USA. I'm pretty sure most of these T-shirts were made in the USA, um, so they're all old. They are not. They not. They are not from recent trips. Here is one. She might have worn this one. It's fifty fifty, and made in Jamaica. Okay, and then this darling Hawaii one. This is a cat with a grass skirt and a lei, and um, made in the USA. 
brand new, never been worn. Here's one. This one is also made in the USA. And this one's really sweet. This is from Sun. Oh, it just says Sun Lover, I guess. This is the Trade Winds of the South Sea, and this is a Hard Rock Cafe Chicago. So those are the t-shirts, and I really think those are going to be fun to list and sell. Um, here are a couple, there are a couple of underwhelming items that came with the um, clothing. I bought a couple of new with tags um, auction, you know, auction lots, and I really wasn't sure of the brands because they didn't put the brands down, but this is, this is old. This is Angora wool and also cashmere goat. So this is a this is re a red sweater. I think that one will do okay. This one is a little underwhelming. It's August silk, but it is new with tags. And this one I really liked because this is 100% silk. I think this is a men's small. So I will probably put it on as a women's medium or large and with it being silk, I think that makes it really a wonderful piece, a wonderful vintage piece. And then we have, this is a corette. This is a corette extra large velour, new with tags. Years ago it was $62, but um, it's, it's brand new. And so I think that'll be, that'll be good. I mean, they're not designer brands, but they are brands I think that will sell. Probably this one. Um, I will list only because even though it's city nets and it's not my favorite, it is black. And so that tends to be a little bit more desirable. Then we're going to move into this area. And this was a faux fur coat by Terry Lewis. And it was $2. Now it does have some staining on here, but I'm pretty sure that is makeup. It just looks like makeup to me and I believe I can get that off. So I don't think it was worn an awful lot and it is an extra large and I've always done really, really well with my extra large faux fur coats. So that I know is gonna be a winner because I only have $2 invested in that. And then on this right here, I have all athletic pants and they are all new with tags, but what's great about them is they are all made in the USA. I have ASICS shorts, I have ASICS warm-ups, I have Reebok warm-ups, and all new with tags, which is super fun. And then one of my most favorite clothing items is right here. And this is an Oleg Cassini 100% silk, you know, jogging suit. And I don't know if you know Oleg Cassini, but he is really, he was really a great designer and he always made colorful, beautiful things. He even did home goods like crystals and paperweights and, and you know, glassware. And I loved his designs and I'm excited about that because that's brand new with tags. And then finally, the creme de la creme is this gorgeous fur by Arpit of Canada. And this is a mink, this is a full length mink. What's special about this one, I think is this beautiful button. It has just an amazing, beautiful button on it. But the rest of it hooks. And that was an $80 auction item that I'm hoping to put about 600 on. Well, I hope you enjoyed my auction journey today. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me. I wanna ask you if you'll please hit the subscribe button and also the little bell so that you'll know when my next videos come out. And if you liked my video, would you please like it? I am brand new at YouTube and I'm kind of excited about getting some feedback and finding out if this is something that people will enjoy my continuing to do. So thanks for joining me again today and make it a great day. In fact, make it a fabulous day.